Any hazing? A little bit of ridicule. No, no, no. Everyone's uh, really nice. Didn't really feel like I was new until you mentioned it. Kind of forgot. So you kind of brought up some just uncomfortableness for him. Oh, I'm sorry to hear bit. that. <laughs> Um, I feel like the Kissing Booth promo kind of foreshadowed maybe a new love interest for Ali, seeing how Johnny is no longer in her life, I mean, to date, so, I don't know, I kind of got some fresh meat, and... She got lucky. Um, she, she got a... No? If you want to call it that, but yeah, he's a good catch, and they just have this kind of, you know, a new relationship starting, you know, the new boy comes to the school, and, you know, there's always that interest, and it looks like it's going Ali's way, and she gets the... The new fella, the Taylor Lautner of Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just I would like to I just said that I would I would just expose him on this. He has invisible braces. Yeah, and he clicks them and it's so irritating. I can you smile and show us? You can't really see it. No, click do the little clicking. Okay, so he, if we're if we're in the middle of a scene, I just kinda go. It's disgusting. But she, she can't really tell. It just bugs her because it's just the sound. No, I have braces. I know what you're doing. Yeah. But it's just, I, I, it's funny because it just bugs her. She's always just listening. So I'd rather just... Taylor Lautner in his spot. So Taylor, if you see that. I'm joking. I would never replace you. Yeah, yeah. But if you stop the clicking, then I like you a little more. A little more? A little more. I'll try and stop that. <laughs> I did uh, The Seeker on my uh, Babysitter's a Vampire, and I actually got to work with Cassie Steele and Jamie Johnson, who were both on Degrassi, so it was pretty cool. I got, even though Cassie Steele's not here anymore, I did a scene with Jamie Johnson, and he's like, wait, I think I know you. I was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> we, we, did a, we did a show together. Well, me and Jamil also did a show together um, in Montreal, so he's kind of like my brother. I've known him for a while. We spent a week together in Montreal, so, yeah. And Monroe, I spent a lot of time with, with Monroe, so. Like my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's one of those things that you have really good friends to get you through it. And you kind of realize you're real friends for, you know, if you don't talk to them for two or three weeks and you come back home for a day and, it's, you know, it's right back to normal, like how it was, and you don't have to, like, try and make your friendship work. I mean, you know what I mean? It's those kind of friends that you realize are are the good bunch. So I feel like, I mean, I just did a movie in New York and then part of it was done in South America. So I wasn't even in, um, on this continent. So it was, it was one of those things that it's hard to balance, but once you find that happy medium, I mean, it's manageable. Mm, no, <laughs> well, I just, I just moved and I got a condo and it's all painted and I'm settling in. And then once it's ready, I'll have a lost party. We'll have a last party. We have this. We're gonna. I mean, everyone else has seen the series. Raymond and Charlotte are obsessed. So we are going to catch up. Yeah, he's gonna come over in PJs. We're gonna have a PJ night. Six and seasons. PJ six, night and PJ popcorn night and popcorn and a foam party. Minus the foam, we're gonna Mine, have a last party. <laughs> Just a last party. It's one of those family things. Like, it's so weird to to even... I mean, I feel like in every single interview, like, this question gets asked, and it's just the same answer because it's so true. I've worked on so many other things, and the cast is great. Um, but this show has this kind of chemistry where it's just automatic family. Like, you came in um, this year. I've been on the show for three years already. <sighs> but um, And it just feels like I've known you forever. Like, he's already on the same level as my other cast members that I've known for these three years. Like, it just... It's gonna get to his head. I mean, I like him a lot, and it's just and everyone too. Like I don't know, it's one of those things that it's just you spend twelve hours together, yeah. your family. Oh, well, you do pretty much everything together. Uh, every event, everyone they try and get everyone out. So that's I think that's one of the good things. I'm I'm, I'm homeschooled, so <laughs> I'm I'm the coolest person in my school. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm the coolest person in my school, considering. He wins all the awards. School. Everyone, I, I get all athlete of the year, academics of the year. Best attendance record. Yeah, I never miss a day of class. Teacher's pet. Pe teacher's pet. Yeah, but I did attend a high school before I was homeschooled, but this is a little bit more uh, surreal than actual high school. But high school was fun for the short period of time I was there. <laughs>
Hey, you're here now. Yep. At first, I wasn't, I didn't really know, but now that Drew and Allie are uh, together, I don't know, it's just, they kind of click, I guess, a lot better than I, I thought they were at the beginning, but the way they're writing them together, I think they're kind of, they're pretty much a perfect match. On the show, I feel like I would want Allie to, I mean, she doesn't really interact with Sorry. <laughs> no, she doesn't really interact with too many of the guys now that, now that I think about it. She's pretty much gone through a lot of them in season 8 and season 9. Um, and with the guys that we have left, one of them is her brother. One of them is... Dave. Dave, <laughs> which she's already <laughs> gone through. No. Um, and then there's the other couples, and I just think this is where the, where the magic is. Uh, I slept. I caught up in a lot of the lost sleep that I had while I was working. Slept in Wonderland. I love Wonderland. He actually lives at Wonderland. I do. I live inside. On the behemoth? Yeah. Underneath? That's his home. Yeah. I was uh, moving into my condo and painting it. I mean, moving is one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my life. And I didn't think it'd be that crazy because usually when I was moving growing up, it'd be my parents taking care of everything. And they were there helping, but it's just because it was mine, I was just as stressed out, I guess, on top of filming and on top of, oh, I was auditioning characters for the second season of Indie, so I'm excited for that. There's some new ones coming up. That's amazing. Yep. My room is my, my baby. It's hot pink. The two walls, two of the walls are like hot pink and the other two walls are like neon hot pink. It's beautiful. And then my sheets are um, like, cheetah <laughs> and everything is everything else is black and it's, oh it's so cute and there's so much clothes everywhere but i have a perfect like clothes organizer you just got a whole bunch of little girls jealous about how nice your room looks my hot pink and cheetah room <laughs> ah. i know you're jealous i'm a little bit jealous i'm trying to think i like that room i'm gonna maybe uh paint my room that color hot pink and cheetah yeah no <laughs> I love roller coasters. It's yeah, it's it's probably the funnest thing to do. Or when you're at Wonderland, you're either there or you're just walking around. But do you remember when we went? I, oh, I wasn't a roller coaster person, and then he pretty much picked me up and carried yeah. me to. Every I, I carried ride. her on the rides. I she... was terrified, and now I'm a I'm a ride. You're person. a ride warrior. You might, yeah. you could say that you're a wide ride. Try and say that ten times fast. Ride, ride warrior. warrior. Yeah. Amazing. What was your favorite? My <laughs> was the behemoth. Oh. Definitely, but I came she off. She came of off the, the ride crying. crying. I wasn't crying. Yes, there was you were crying. Wind in my eyes and the contact lenses. She says it's wind, and she always blames it the wind and the contact. She was crying. I wasn't crying, Lucas. <laughs> I am. It's gonna be fun, but. I mean, I wish I wish the best for um. I wish the best for everyone because they're going to do an amazing thing in India, but I have to shoot the second season of my show, so I can't go. But, I mean, hopefully one day we'll be... I mean, I went to Ecuador with the group and with Free the Children, and it was pretty amazing. But um, it's one of those things, everything happens for a reason, and you guys are going to go and make a huge difference and build a school, and I wish I could contribute, but, you know, you guys are killing it, so... I'm going to be shooting second season, and when you guys get back, we'll be doing a lot of shopping. Because I'd love to add that Luke is actually an amazing person to shop with. And I, I'm not even just saying that. He Nice. Let's see the outfit. My outfit? You like my outfit? <clears throat> he's not necessarily a good shopper for himself, but he's a good <laughs> shopper, so I'm joking. <laughs> I picked out the what? best shoes. What? I picked out the best shoes, and now she wears them all the time. Yeah, he picked out these four-inch mimosa heels, the ones that I wore that you loved. And... Um, he has two sisters, three. Three, three sisters and a mama who are all gorgeous and great shoppers, so he's learned well. I learned a couple of uh, tips from them. So I actually prefer shopping with him over some of my girls. I, um, since I was three, so like 15 years now, I've been doing karate, and, so, and I've also been doing ballet and dance. 
um, karate and ballet, you watch out. Um, she beats me up. <laughs> all the time. So whenever I'm not filming, I like to go back and do some classes of either or both. Not at the same time, of course, but I mean, it's pretty much my life. That's it's one of those things that since moving to Toronto hasn't changed, you know, because everything, I don't have my family with me anymore. Um, my friends are different. I mean, I have new amazing ones. And, you know, this whole town is crazy and different from Ottawa, but it's one of those things that just have been the same for my whole life. So it's one of those things that I look forward to. And you? Wonderland. Lots and lots of Wonderland. Uh, I love Wonderland. I love it. I live there. Yeah, I mean, it's his home. It's his home. Yes. And Vaughn Mills, maybe? Vaughn Mills. It? Yeah, um, I'm kind of on a, a the mutual fence about Vaughn Mills. It's too big for me. It's a kilometer that way. I mean, it goes it's in massive. a circle. And it's like, no, it's actually a kilometer. Did you know that? Did you measure it? No, when I first, because <laughs> 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 I measure she knows every mall exactly that I go a, to. A, a kilometer. No, when I first moved there, the first, I mean, I moved to the mall. <laughs> when she I lives in the mall, there, I live in Wonderland. We're neighbors. <laughs> We're neighbors. <laughs> I went there and I was like, man, this is a big mall. And the guy was like, yeah, it's a kilometer. <laughs> so I learned that little fun fact. And then I realized when I saw people like in their running suits walking and <laughs> around the mall, around. it must be a kilometer. It must be a kilometer. Yeah. I'm a little baby of the family. My, uh, baby. I'm an uncle. My older sister has a kid now, and my other sister lives in uh, Texas. And, uh, yes, it's just me and my other youngest sister at home. We're trying to, uh, not kill each other, but it's not working out. No, we, we love each other. It's, it's fun. But. I do. My sisters are six and seven years older than I am, but, um, yeah, they're Melissa, Melanie, <laughs> I'm Melinda, my brother is Michael, my parents mm -hmm. love us, apparently. Uh, enough to do that to us is torture. But, uh, no, yeah, they're, they live in Ottawa. I live with one of my sisters in Toronto, actually. We're roomies, and my eldest sister lives in Ottawa with my baby bro. So I have some sibling love there. And I feel like my brother now has some, like, qualities because he also has three sisters that he's a good shopper, and all the all the ladies love to go yeah, your to Your brother's the your youngest, too. <clears throat> he's, like, your age. And he's, he's my like, age. Yeah. I know, he's the youngest one in the family. Damn. Um, I just... Allie gets taken to this place that she's never been steer it into. I mean, she kind of even, I mean, we always get to see her home side, which not every cast member gets to, so I'm very lucky. But you kind of get to see her at maybe a different school, a different location outside of Degrassi. And she becomes a much more dark person. I mean, she's gone through stuff in season eight and nine with the, you know, the genital warts and the, the jail, or not the jail, but the, the stuff with the police, the arrest. And, um, she gets taken to this place that you've never seen her before, so that's always fun to go and be dark. And you just get to be jockey. I get to be jockey. You get to see a little bit of uh, family troubles with me and Adam, so that's that's pretty cool. My brother's got some issues, we'll see. Got some it's secrets. interesting. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see like how the family kind of unfolds. Cause I've met the family, and I can see a lot of my, my own family members in the family, <laughs> so it's kind of like, whoa, that's kind of weird. But yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a crazy Allie, season. I mean, she just made me think of it. Ali brings out the sweetness of of all these boys who have these cool facades. I mean, I remember Donnie was like the tough boy who helped stab a well JT, and then I got him to be the sweet little cuddly bear, and then now with this guy. So, <laughs> what? Sorry, what's that face what again? That? Look at that face. <laughs> That's great. So, all right. I think that's the last question I had. And oh, right. How about your favorite episode from what you filmed in season ten this far? Oh, my favorite mm. episode so far. Um, that we filmed. It has to be the one where we're in the photo. Oh no, no, that's a big lie. There was one where there was this back and forth with Ali and Drew, and they were deciding whether to go official or unofficial. And then he comes up with these little yeah. like. Sticker labels that say Drew's girlfriend, Ellie's boyfriend, sticks yeah. them on her forehead. We walk down the hall together. The I still kept my little. Yeah, I still have that. It's somewhere. I think it's in my little memory box. Yeah. I don't have a memory so box. So cute. 
Okay, so he just exposed that he has a memory box and probably has a diary too, but it's okay, we won't judge you. You're still the cool boy in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Oh, bye. 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 <laughs>